going to, it's a tough world, isn't it? Sometimes things just don't go the way we plan. And we're tempted to just say, forget it. Let's just give it up. Surrender has that quality, doesn't it, sometimes? Waving the white flag. Use it as a military term. It means to give up, to throw in the towel, to cry uncle, possibly to give yourself up, to give in. But I think it has a bigger meaning for us tonight. To surrender is not to give up or give in, but to give over yourself to something. There's a website called Yogapedia that I found. They talk about surrender can be described as a practice of letting go of struggle and control, instead learning to trust. Surrender can be positive, it can show courage. It's often easier to go along to get along than do something different. But to surrender means you change direction, you give up and you get going in a different way. When Jesus said, into your hands I commit my spirit, he's saying, into your hands I surrender my spirit, into your hands I give myself to you, God in a new and powerful way, just as we read in the Philippian, the great hymn of the Philippian church that Paul remembered from someplace else and wrote down for us, was the hymn of the church at the time, that Jesus didn't count equality with God as something to be grasped. I want you to take your hand and grasp on something right now, just feel that power of your hand. He said he let go and surrendered and took the form of a servant and surrendered himself to death, even death on a cross. We're surrounded by crosses in our church and in our community. We wear them around our necks. We see them as symbols everywhere. We forget what a terrible symbol cross was in the first century. Decent people wouldn't even use the word. And Paul says he surrendered himself to death, even death on a cross for our sake. So what does he mean when he commits himself to God's hands? to carry through to completion, to accomplish and to fulfill. It is finished. It's not a good translation. I've said that so many times. What Jesus is saying, and this is John's gospel, his arms outstretched on the cross, he says, it is accomplished. It is fulfilled. It is brought to completion now. It also means to commend. Some translations say, into your hands I commend my spirit, to entrust or to put something into the possession or safekeeping of another. So Jesus, on the night when he gives himself up for the sake of the world, gives himself fully to God, puts himself fully in God's hands. Just as in the garden he prayed, let this cup pass from me, but not my will, but yours be done. And in John's gospel, as he said at dinner, I'm not letting anyone take my life. I give it willingly, and I will take it up again. This is who Christ is for us. So to surrender ourselves to God is to Stop struggling against what is. Stop struggling against life with its problems and let God control our hearts, our lives, our very beings. Trusting that when we entrust ourselves to God, there is no safer place to be and in God's hands we would be able to do what we can't do on our own. To give up the things that no longer serve us. Following Christ's self-emptying on the cross. We're not called to do that, though, are we? We're not called to be Christ. We're not called to be like Christ. We're called to love like Christ. Because the work that he did described in the letter to the Philippians, that great hymn of the church, is something that he and he alone was able to accomplish. We're called to love like him. We're called to have the same love that Christ had, the same trust that he had. I'm going to ask us to sing a little bit of I Surrender All again now that we've had a little bit of time to reflect on that thought. I want you to think first, though. I want you to sit in silence for a few moments. I want you to think about what in your life you need to give up, to surrender to God. Perhaps it's a habit you've had. Perhaps it's a grudge you've held. Because we all hold grudges. We have trouble forgiving each other, don't we, sometimes? We have things that block us from fully accepting the grace that God offers. I want you to think about what it is that you need to surrender to God this evening as you reflect on Christ surrendering his life for your sake and my sake and the sake of the world. Then we're going to stand together. We're going to sing verse number four. All to Jesus I surrender. Lord, I give myself to thee. Fill me with thy love and power. Let thy blessing fall on me. I surrender all. I surrender all. All to thee, my blessed Savior. I surrender all.
So take a few moments to think about what it is that you need to surrender on this night. And then we will sing together.